Greetings, it is I, the Great Flanmar, here with back, I should say, I guess, <laughs> with another stream, because I'm just that great at it. Figured today we could take a break from Mother 3 and play a few of the eShop games I've downloaded over the years. Instead, I thought that would be better, or I guess not really better, but something different. And hello to you, Dervo. Hope your day is going well. I sorted them all into categories by year because I couldn't figure out any other categories. I don't know, we probably won't be able to make it through them all. But I figured we would get through as many as possible. <laughs> You're curvying the hell out of the return to Dreamland Deluxe. How are you enjoying? Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I bought that at launch also. Thought it would be I thought it was pretty fun. It's not a glad me in the top left corner. It's okay, I like it. The this no, it is not. <laughs> this me was one that I created when I was eight years old. <laughs> When I got my Wii U. And I have never changed it. I have a second account, actually. With the Glen Me on it. But it's not my main account. I don't... I have not changed my Me since I got my Wii U back in 2013. So. I've kept it the same. <laughs> I think the art style looks really nice in return to Dream Deluxe. Yeah, I like it too. I've seen some criticisms. When people don't like the cartoony art style. I enjoy it more than the original. I don't know if you've played the original or not, but the original was one of my childhood games, so. That's probably what persuaded me to buy the Deluxe. It's just childhood memories, even though I still own the game. <laughs> you've played the original, it's very good. Yes, it is. It is, it is pretty fun. One of my favorites when I was young. All right. I'm probably not going to play Wii Sports Club or the Panorama Views. I had to pay two bucks a piece for these, I hope. No. Except for one. One of these was randomly like six dollars for some reason. <laughs> Never actually beat the original though. Huh. I beat the original when I was there. I enjoyed it a ton. It was not one of my favorites, I would say. Because I beat it. And I never really went back to it over much. But for like a month. That was like all I could talk about. <laughs> Alright. Start with the top. The tw the 2013 games. You can check out Dr. Luigi. The year of Luigi. Everyone's favorite year. Yeah. Scott's favorite game. <laughs> Most worthwhile game ever. And if you turn to Dreamland Triple Ducks and Planet Robobot, which one do you think is best? Uh, that's a good question, actually. That's really hard. Um, I never played Robobot when I was younger. I only played it more recently, actually. 
Out of them, I would say Triple Deluxe is third. It's solid, but like, Return to Dreamland has multiplayer, which I really love, and Planet Robobot is just different, which is nice. Triple Deluxe is kind of basic. I put that like number three. Return to Dreamland and Planet Robobot are two very great games. I would put Return to Dreamland a bit over Planet Robobot. It might just be my nostalgia and my childhood <laughs> that does that. I would put Return to Dreamland just above Planet Robobot. But both of them are in like my top five favorite Kirby games. Trouble Lux is probably gonna be like eighth. <laughs> if you disagree, that's completely warranted. Trust me. Let's see what Operation L has to say. Planet Ro Yeah. It's completely warranted you think Planet Roll is better. Because <laughs> it's probably just my nostalgia. <laughs> That's why Trouble Lux is my favorite, purely because it's one of the first Kirby games. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very solid game. It was actually like, I want to say it was like the third 3DS game I ever got. <laughs> the two games are still fantastic. Yes, all, all three of them are very good. Let's see, I'm lonely, so only one player. Take on CPU. Do CPU, that sounds fun. Yeah, I'll leave it at 10. That's good. Wonderful, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Drowsy, dizzy, or random? Random between the only two songs. You know what? Surprise me, sure. My 50 50 odds. Of... <laughs> yeah. So, Return to Dreamland definitely has the best antagonist out of the three. Megalore is awesome, yes. Megalore is my favorite villain, I would say. Because it's like the rare time where Kirby actually has- Oh, it's the D-pad. <laughs> Kirby actually has like a, a story. Which is quite rare. And I'm not paying attention, that's why I completely screwed this up. I mean, Kirby technically always has a story, but I mean, Not really. <laughs> where am I supposed to put this? Not here. That's bad. Plant. You get to witness me losing at Dr. Luigi. I wasn't paying attention. Pants has a run. Let's check out a different mode. That's basically just pills wrapped in a package. Actually, let's try Flash. I'm interested in Flash. I gotta eat dinner now, and I'm very busy with homework. Thought I'd stop by. That's cool. It is nice to see you on this Tuesday. As long as there's no vegetables, you can eat dinner. It's the only policy. I'm a seven-year-old me. <laughs> that. And I don't go back on my promises. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. That's bad. How dare they be vegetables? Yeah, I lose again. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you don't have to bring any dinner back with you. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Let's try Virus Buster. Oh, you use the gamepad. How innovative. You can use it vertically, too. Even more innovative. Why did anyone buy this game? I don't know. Surprise me again, because there's two options. There's too much. Oh, it's Luigi. I hate it when Luigi jump scares me. Actually, I do believe that there is some horror games in here. You get to look forward to that, too. There we go, skills. <laughs> it's the this mode, yeah. It's the boring mode. Where am I supposed to put this? Guess I'm putting it there. Where am I supposed to put this? Oh, come on. That's, that's bad. <laughs> I don't play Dr. Mario very much. It's been quite a while. <laughs> he just murdered a sphere doomer. Congratulations. Are you still playing through the main mode or have you gotten to the Magalore? Prologue, yeah. I am quite interested about the Magalore Prologue. Retro Remedy. I'm assuming this is just the original. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is just the regular version. Let's do Flash. I don't know what Flash is. We'll do the Flash on the regular. Make it interesting. Yeah, it's just the regular. <laughs> I don't know why I don't turn down the level of this. I'm good. We can end this now. <laughs> we can end this over. Main mode. Don't have much time to play because of homework. I'm going to grind some 2 and 3 to finish the splattle packs. Alright. Good, so you're not going to give me any spoilers. I haven't actually gotten to the Megalore mode either. I've been playing through the main game with a friend, so... I haven't gotten there yet. I find Return to Dreamland. Playing one player is, is good, but if you can get another person to play locally with you, it becomes just an amazing game. <laughs> so I just, I just play it when there's other people. <laughs> play locally. Anyone want to bet if anyone's online? Let's check out this online mode. I'm sure there's tons of people. The game is still fun. It's still a great game. But if you can get someone else to play local, then that's pretty great. Let's see. Anyone online? Can I just get all? Can I just scan for everything? Let's do the classic. Ah, it takes my Nintendo code, not my name. If anyone has Dr. Luigi, I am currently online. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm going to get any competitors. But I figured I'd try because... I hope too much. 
Don't have any IRL friends who are really into Kirby, so I usually can't play local multiplayer. It is getting tougher to play multiplayer games locally with the online play now, but especially if you can. Plus, there's so many games too that it's. Once you do get somebody over to your house, there's so much that you could play that probably Kirby doesn't always come first to mind. <laughs> I know. That's what I've been saying. It should have had online multiplayer. How hard is that? That makes a game's worth go up so much high for just a little bit of effort. Like, uh, Super Mario 3D World, plus Bowser's Fury? The Bowser's Fury is fun, but having, being able to play 3D World online is such a great feature. Because now I don't have to get someone to come over to my house to play, I could just play online. It should have had online multiplayer. I hope they bring it. it, it probably not now. But, I hope that that happens. <laughs> Dr. Luigi is done. Does Manta have 3D World on Switch? He does, yes. That is actually who I played through the game with when I first got it. He does have 3D World. Do you have 3D World on Switch? Because if you do, we could play through it. <laughs> we should all play through it. So far. Yeah. Yeah, you got the game, then yeah. It's a really fun game. Especially with multiplayer. Just single player makes it a bit less fun. <laughs> Pokemon Rumble U. Scott's other favorite game. I paid $20 for this. <laughs> Presents. Where is our HD remaster? I guess this is already in HD. Where is our remaster? I don't have any figures, so let's just start the game. I can't wait to be the most annoying person while we play Mario 3D World. It is, yes. Usually somebody always gets annoyed. <laughs> That's the code of online multiplayer games like that. Someone must get annoyed. Push up pit. I'm gonna get Blastoise. What are we doing in this game? I don't know. But we're playing Pokemon 3D Rumble, so who cares? Society has peaked. Time to push all the buttons. Let me see what that does. Oh, so you... You just, you just run around and spray the, the other Pokemon. most Pokemon I've played all year. <laughs> I get that the figures are like this, but why do all the characters in-game have to look like cheap Chinese plastic toys? I think the GameCube could play this game for me. I take the art style of these games on 3DS, but I gotta say, it, 
doesn't look nearly as charming as HD. Yeah. When you crunch the screen down on a lower res platform in 3DS, it makes games look much better than what they actually are. But when you blow them up and make them in HD, it's just not have a degree, but I have, I beat Wet and Wild Challenge, Pokemon Rumble U. Who needs a degree? You can finally be proud. Your daughter is a bit loud? Sure. I can turn that down. There we go, that should be a bit better. It was hard for me to calibrate because different games have slightly different audio levels, I find. They're not apparent, but it's like on the main menu, I had to turn the thing all the way up just for it to be okay, but like in games like this, it's just, it's all over the place. I did it. I want to return to map. I'm done with this. Is that all you can do in this game? Please tell me there's more. I spent... How much I spent on this? I spent $22 on this. Tell me there's more. I'm not buying figures. Oh, I'm a Nintendo fan. I probably am. Oh great, there's passwords. Let me look up a password. Let's see what we got for passwords here. Pokemon Rumble U Passwords. What do we got? IGN. You've always failed me, but don't do it this time. Oh, it just gives you figures. <laughs> it doesn't actually progress you into the game. <laughs> it just unlocks the figures. So even the figures aren't even worth any money. <laughs> Have you seen the pictures of these figures? They look terrible. <laughs> I love how Rumble World on 3DS is free and has more entertaining gameplay. Oh, uh, Mayo. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. I have another Rumble U game. I um, mean, you know, a Pokemon Rumble game, I think. I have Pokemon Rumble Blast on the 3DS physically that I don't think I've ever played. And after this, I don't think I'm ever going to play it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> this sucks. There's like nothing else to do. There's just the crappy battles. We're moving on. I also want to have the menu on the main screen, so I gotta keep switching controllers. Because if I use the gamepad to toggle through the main menu, it, um, you can't see it. We're not going to play Wii Sports Club because it's literally just a tech demo of the actual game which I own. So if we actually want to play that, I would just use the disc. Mighty Switch Force 2. Let's check that game out. Let's see what we got going here. Don't ask me why I don't have the first one. I don't know why. I believe this game was $10. And the first game was like $13, and I only had like $11 in my eShop wallet at the time.
Oh, I've already played this game a bit. Okay. Let's play the first level again. Oh, it's in like an 8-bit art style. Why do you keep doing that? How do I use my weapon? There you go. By the way, if you're wondering why the stream is titled Pushmo World, there is no just generic eShop category. Oh, I, I collect women in this game, apparently. That is the item we're collecting. Cool. Uh, there was no generic tab. I had to make it one of them. The Push My World was like the only one. Wonder what I do. Okay. Oh, so you have to use the back controls to phase in and out the different blocks. Alright, I got it. This is a pretty decent game. Probably the best one I've played so far. It's not even made by Nintendo. Some games you collect shiny items. This game you collect women. <laughs> yeah. I need to take out this fire. Firefighting while wearing a bikini with a water pack. This game is weird. Fun, but a bit weird. Oh, it's time. Sonic. Which probably means I should have been moving a bit faster. Yes, I have collected all the. No, I haven't. Oh, there's still one more. That's just embarrassing. Don't save the baby, just save the women. Why does the baby need to live? Oh wait, no we can. Oh, we just kicked the baby! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we just kicked the baby, <laughs> who cares? We just, we just kicked the baby across the screen. The baby's dead now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I underrated you. I need to buy the first game. Oh boy, I need to buy the first game now. I have collected all the females. <laughs> and I have kicked the child. <laughs> That was, um, that was way better than what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, I get a baby award on the main screen. It shows the baby. I l it literally rewards me for kicking the baby. <laughs> Who programmed that? I'm playing another level. I know we got other games to also move on to, but I'm moving. <laughs> I'm playing another level. <laughs> oh, there there was a woman in there apparently. Yes. Got to catch them all. <laughs> Pokemon reference. Because I'm in the know with the Pokemons. Yeah. So 
Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the greatest and most... No! <laughs> I'm not saying that. I... The, that video I have watched way more times than I ever, ever want to. I've been here. Say it, coward. I'm not saying. <laughs> There's no way. Yes, I have collected the women. Where is the baby? There's the baby. How do I get there? Oh, oh. No, no, I need... I have to see that animation one more time. I just... I have to see the animation. <laughs> I did it. Okay, we're, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I needed to see it again. I'm gonna put your voice into one of those AI generator things and oh no, and make you say the whole video. Don't. <laughs> those things, it, it's honestly scary how advanced those voice things are. It's, it's insane. All right. Maybe someday I'll just make a video of this game because this game is pretty great. I'm definitely buying the first one. I could say that, but we're gonna move on. Out of the games we've played so far, I would say, for Dr. Luigi, if you don't have any other means of playing Dr. Mario, which I find very hard to believe, Dr. Luigi is fine. Don't ever buy Pokemon Rumble U. Mighty Switch Force 2 is a lot of fun. So, a high recommend. Have you seen those videos of Joe Biden? Trump just arguing over video games using the funny AI. I have. I've seen a Roblox one. I saw a Minecraft one with Obama and Ben Shapiro also. <laughs> There's probably a lot more. I've only seen like two of them, I think. But it's so funny. Yeah, it is. It is it's insanely funny. <laughs> I love it. This is so good. All right. Mutant Muds Deluxe is next. I've heard good things about Mutant Muds, so I have high hopes. Another 8-bit style game. I've never actually played a Mutant Muds game, so this should be interesting. I'm gonna send you some of them to watch when you're done streaming. <laughs> yes, please. But any ones you can find, because they're they're hilarious. Simple plot. Oh, I have a jetpack. This reminds me of those weird um App Store games I used to have on my iPad was like seven that I would download. I'm assuming the game gets better. This is no mighty Switch Force 2.
Yay, enemies that are too short to hit. Oh, I can. Oh, no, I can duck. I have heard this game is better on 3DS. Because of that, yeah. That, that exactly, I've heard it is better on 3DS. Because that is a lot better 3D effect. That is what I have heard. I rather get games on the Wii U. I have a 3DS, but I just like the Wii U more. So. I have some 3DS games downloaded, but not many. Just the main ones. The Kirby's and the Box Boys and the Pushmos. And Picross. I'm a sucker for Picross. It's still kind of a cool effect on the Wii U. Oh, there's foreground ones too. I thought there were only background ones. Yeah, I get it. This would be so much better on 3DS. <laughs> I get it now. I'm not actually aware how much this originally cost me. I bought this a while ago. What's VLAN? Oh, it's hell. Stupid mud thing is killing me. I gotta download the pushmos before the eShops go down. Pushmos are fun. I have Pushmo World. I'm gonna play eventually because it's such a good game. But definitely, you gotta buy all the pushmos. The pushmos are really fun. I'm gonna say in Mutant Muds' case. Uh. I've never played the 3DS one, but I'm going to say that this is probably worth playing on the 3DS. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the game on... There's like two games on the 3DS, and they're both only like... Six dollars, I think. If I demo on 3DS, it seems really good. It is... It's fun. It is the perfect... For me, when I buy a portable game... I just want it to be simple, easy, fun that might tease my brain a little bit, like Picross. And Pushmo does that. They're fun little puzzles. And it's perfect for handhelds. I would love it if Nintendo would bring Pushmo to Switch. Just make another one. I don't mean do a remaster. <laughs> just make a new one. They're really fun. Maybe not my first choice for Nintendo, though. My first choice for Nintendo to make any game would probably be New Super Mario Bros. Then Rhythm Heaven. Then maybe you push me We gotta switch box boy, so that's completely impossible. It's not completely impossible for Pushmo to come switch. Yeah. I'm glad they made a new box boy. I prefer Pushmo over Box Boy, personally. But it is nice to see that if they're willing to do that, they should be very willing to put um, Pushmo on the switch. So I'm I'm happy about that at least. <laughs> Uh, the sample of Mutant Muds, for Wii U, I don't think it's worth it. I could see it being worth it on 3DS, though. I like Box Boy a lot. If you like Box Boy, you should love Pushmo. They're two different types of puzzle games, but they both give you about the same feeling when you play. So if you like Box Boy, you should like Pushmo. <laughs> Alright. Where do we want... We can have Bird's Eye View, Carnival in Rio, Double Decker Tour, or Coyote Sightseeing. I'm not playing all of them. <laughs> Bird's Eye View sounds cool. Let's do Bird's Eye View. For streaming, I don't think this is probably going to be too good because um, 
the whole point is that it's a gamepad and you move the gamepad around like you're really there. <laughs> Even though you're you're not there. How much are you going to be able to see? Oh, you can see. <laughs> wow, it's look at this. It's like I'm really there. I'm in Italy. Oh, it's gooses. It's low res gooses. <laughs> Amazing. Look at that guy. It's so weird that this is almost like a series. I, Nintendo released. Yeah, I bought the whole series. Because <laughs> that's how good this is. I had to pay $3 a piece. <laughs> But look at this crappy video. I could see this being a cool novelty when you first buy the Wii U. Even though this came out like five months after the Wii U launched. This would be a cool novelty to buy one. But like, I still have the trailer downloaded and it's like five minutes long and it gives you like the most exciting part of each. So it's like... You get about as much thrill out of the trailer as you do buying the full one. How long is this? <laughs> I mean, if you, it, it's it's a cool novelty. For like, I'm not sure if it was two or three dollars, but for like two or three bucks, I mean, you could do a lot worse. Big fan of gooses. Okay, back. Sure. I'll be enjoying my flying here on uh, Panorama View. <laughs> this is quite enjoyable. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, it's a neat novelty. I would not class it more. Today, it's pretty useless, I think. I mean, I don't think anyone's being wowed by the Wii U nowadays. <laughs> but for back then, I think it has its place. I bought them all because I thought it was neat to have this, like, little piece of, like, Wii U launch history. But, I mean, it, it, it's just not... It's not anything special. <laughs> It's five minutes long. Why is there parental controls on the panorama view? <laughs> it seems pretty useless. Oh, Billy, no flying with the geese after eight. Before we move on to the next one, I'm going to try out one other one just because I'm slightly curious. I have not played them all. Carnival in Rio Double Decker Tour. Little Kyoto. Let's try Japan. It's always a fun one. There we go. Oh. Fun calibrating section again. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It is calibrated. Get some sightseeing. It's like I'm really there. I mean, uh, for you people at home, this probably looks pretty stupid. But if you, when you move the gamepad, it'll you can see different things, which is kind of neat. Very low res, but it, it's neat. If you have a curiosity for it, again, just download the trailer. The trailer just gives you the highlights of all four of these, and it's free. So if you're interested about how this works, just, just download the trailer. Don't be an idiot with money like me. Yes. 
Work. Run. That's what I look like after eating puffed Oreos. Get the white stuff all over your face. Oh, that guy's got a blurred face. Okay, I think I'm good. We don't need to see any more. I think that was good enough. Alright. Let's check out what is next on our list of games. The Art of Balance. Curious on this one. I think this is a stylus game. Could be wrong. It gives me that impression. It got one update, so you know there's a lot of happening here. Well, I haven't unlocked anything else, so I'm just going to play Arcade. <laughs> no, there's levels. Well, that's kind of neat. I thought it would just be like a, just a generic block stacking game. Okay, I get it. You have to. Okay, yeah. Pretty simple premise, I think. Yeah. Just stack the blocks, make sure they stay. I thought it would just be like that Mario Party minigame, where it's just to get the platform, to get the blocks, you have to stack them to a certain height, and then you move on. Like, an, just kind of like that. But this is still neat. Very original. Little did I know there's probably like <laughs> another game that this is just ripped off. That wasn't right. Okay, that was definitely wrong. How do I stop that? That was wrong. No. No, I think it's got, it's got to be the ball. Just let me start over. The only way the ball will stay put. But then how do you get the other ones? Yeah. Can you rotate it? Maybe. It would be nice if I could get this to... Oh, you can! No! Okay. That's why I'm having trouble. <laughs> you can rotate the... Maybe I should have read the instructions. Before I started. Not something I'm known to do, but probably should have. <laughs> Okay, so you have to put one piece down before. Bit of an awkward control, I would say, because you got to use the D-pad and the stylus to uh, operate the pieces. 
so you kind of need a surface to rest to the other side of the game pad on. It's a bit of an awkward control. Let's see what this orange one does. That one was pretty simple, one would say. <laughs> Me when my allergies start kicking in for no reason at all. I start sneezing for about five minutes. Spring is coming. Tis allergy season. <laughs> yes, that does suck. I have a few people in my family that go through that pretty aggressively. I am playing Art of Balance to catch you up. It's basically a block stacking game with a bit of an awkward control because you have to use the d-pad to rotate the pieces okay that works and then while also using the stylus to drag the pieces but it is a very relaxing game we should just get rid of allergies agreed why haven't we done that yet someone needs to think about doing that this game seems cool. It is very relaxing. At the start, I thought it was just kind of lame, but I have to say, I've been playing this, and I'm finding it hard to stop. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's very relaxing and therapeutic. You just stack pieces in a nice, calming environment. So if you're looking for that type of game on Wii U, I would say this is definitely pick up. It's called Art of Balance. That's what it's called. If you're looking if you're looking for a relaxing game, this is definitely a must play. I'm not sure how much it costs. This was like one of the first games I got. So, well, when I was younger, I didn't buy any games on the eShop. I only started buying games on the eShop like a year and a half ago, I wanna say. I am pretty sure this was like $10, I want to say. I've played way too much of this already. We really need to move on. But I'm finding it very hard to. Oh no. I did this wrong. Be good to me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Somehow! Might pick this up. It is... If you just want... If you're looking for just like a little bit of like a relaxing game. Just to pass some time. This is fun. This is surprisingly fun. We gotta move on. But it's surprisingly fun. <laughs> I could not stop playing. If I could literally just sit here and do that for like the next hour and a half on stream, I feel like that wouldn't be too exciting. Hello, pants. You have returned from the dinner. Hopefully there wasn't too many vegetables. <laughs> you have missed a few games, but not a ton. <laughs> We're just moving on to Little Inferno. Oh no, you this like the worst one is broccoli. Who willingly eats broccoli? If I'm really if I'm gonna be honest. Who who really eats broccoli? <laughs> no one enjoys that. Let's use the gamepad. What it, I've heard lots about Little Inferno. It's supposed to be a great game. Are you saying broccoli is worse than asparagus? It, yes, basically, yes. Because you can do something with asparagus. You can make it taste... Okay, I guess. But... There's nothing you can do with broccoli that could not make it suck. No, it's, it's, just, it's just disgusting. Cooked broccoli is just, it's just not good. <laughs> 
No! I dropped my stylus. No. Okay, good. There we go. Little Inferno. What is this game about? I played it for five minutes, apparently, at one time. We're gonna start a new game. Touch and hold. <gasps> Finally. I can play with fire. Oh, I can burn the sign. Yes, burn the instructions. I used to kind of like it. Then I realized it just doesn't taste good. Yeah, pretty much. Congratulations. Legitimate purchase of a brand new little inferno. Is this just a is this just a fireplace game? Is that what this is? Can I burn the letter? Yes, that's how I feel about your letter, grandma. Burn <laughs> Yes, terms and conditions. I can burn the terms and conditions. Take this. The Constitution will burn. This game is thrilling. Yeah, no kidding. You should have... Oh, you should have seen Mighty Switch Force. Uh, I played earlier. Where you go around and you put out fires. You collect women and you kick babies. And that is an accomplishment. Whenever you kick a baby... It comes up on the main screen. That was that was a fun game. That was a thrilling game. This sucks. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Little Inferno. I'm I'm assuming it's just like a if you get into it, it's just like a a static fireplace. But like, that game costed me like fifteen dollars. <laughs> so, <laughs> not a great deal. <laughs> if you like just static fireplaces, but for free, I could get a fireplace. <laughs> On my television. Alright, last game of 2013. Kicks baby good, kicks baby great, kicks baby excellent. <laughs> Basically. Yes, pin it. <laughs> That's a good quote. I should add that to the Manta plan as a robot. <laughs> Alright, Nano Assault Neo, a game I downloaded not that long ago and have not played. So, this is a first for both of us. I believe this was a launch title on the eShop for the Wii U. And I believe that's why I downloaded it. But we're going to see what it's about. I'm pretty sure it's a racing game. Ooh, it was a two player. Missions, staff, let's just do a single player. I haven't unlocked the others, so let's do this one. Swan 1. Interesting. Oh, I'm a little ship. This is not a racing game. How do I shoot? I can't shoot. Oh, yes I can. I used the other joystick to shoot. Okay. This is not a relaxing game like the last one we played. <laughs> Oh, I got hit. Okay, so you get you go on like little planets and you shoot crap. Okay. Simple enough, one would say. Yes, die. You want me to give you an invite to the salt garden? There are thousands of messages that you haven't been seen. Sure. Why not? I could get some other good quotes. I can return it to the salt garden after three years? Or no one remembers me. This game is like the Binding of Isaac plus Super Mario Galaxy plus Star Fox. It is kind of cool. This would have been this would have been a pretty great game as a launch title, I think. For the first HD console, 
this is a launch title, I mean, this would have been pretty cool as a launch title. Now, uh, it, it's good. It's alright. This is kind of like Pikmin. I haven't played enough Pikmin. <laughs> I've played Hey Pikmin. Does that count? It's kind of cool because it uses the two joystick. It's kind of like, um... I forgot. It's on the 5200. It uses two 5200 uh, joysticks, but it's it's a lot like that, just without two crappy Atari 5200 controllers, <laughs> um, star or something. Because you use one to shoot and the other one to move, which is honestly a pretty good control scheme. So it does have that. Good. It's top down, making it like Pikmin's. <laughs> there you go, that's close enough. This game's kind of cool. Exit open. I have 30 seconds. I think I'm gonna make it. I made it. I did it. Yes! It has been completed. In conclusion... This game's alright. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Do I really want to play more? I think it's the better question. <laughs> Yeah, I think if you look at this game and everything you've seen so far and you think that this would be something that you would want to play, it plays exactly how it looks. So if this looks interesting to you, buy it. I would not, I would say there is definitely many other better games that are exclusive to the eShop that would be probably be worth a purchase over this one, but it's fine. Killing this worm type thing right now. Oh, what? I have a sub weapon? What does this do? Oh, <laughs> destruction. Destroy everything. Yes. All the aliens must die. This is kind of like Wario Land 4, exactly like Wario Land 4. I mean, it's got graphics. There's yellow, there's orange. Same game. They ripped it right off. I don't know what that does, but I just got it. How do I leave? Let me leave. I'm quitting. <laughs> Scared to say that my video, How to Speedrun Joke, is recently showing very similar patterns to my videos that ended up getting thousands of views. Yeah. You make great videos. Oh my goodness, there's a leaderboard! Look at all these other leaderboards around me. 2015? 2012? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm glad these are still up. That 
Ah, you had a good voice. Whatever gets the views. It says from the guy playing random Wii U eShop games on Twitch. But still. <laughs> Alright. 2013 has wrapped up. Those are the 2013 eShop games that I currently own. I believe, yes. Unless there's anything else in here. No. Alright. Moving on to 2014. We got some good ones. Better ones. Happy 2014, everyone. Yeah. Look at this. Amazing. We're going to play Pushmo World to start off with. Even an out, <laughs> I despise your voice. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You want to make sure the man doesn't get too cocky. I'm pinning that. <laughs> Pushmo! Here we go. I like Pushmo. We're moving on. We're going here. I'm not going to start from the beginning on this one. I think I'm just going to... Oh, I've played a lot of these. Only got one star. Which ones have I not beaten? Yeah, you insult someone as great as myself. It's not narcissism if it's true. That is, yes. It is not narcissism. It's true. What does it want me to do here? I've beaten these. How does one move on? is confusion. <laughs> is it this? This is this can't be it, right? I've done all these. Haven't I? This one. Okay. There we go. Do we play this one? You need more stars in the area. Maybe. Don't talk to me, old man. Thank you. Gotta relearn these controls. Hmm. Oh, here we go, yeah. We don't kick the babies and push them all, we save the babies. <laughs> an amazing idea. Uh, I've come to apologize for my actions. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I just need to get this out. Picks up dog. I realized I took it too far when I said, Manta, I despise your voice. Wipes away tears that weren't even there. But to be fair, it was entirely my fault. You should be a YouTuber. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good YouTuber talk. For apologizing. <laughs> the not really apologizing. Apologize.
I want to reset. I don't think I did this well. Have to do work, ditto. <laughs> what? Why do work when you could not do work? <laughs> Too lazy to do it though. There you go. I should have just started over. That way I would look better. <laughs> This is the game ever. That it is. Here we go. I'm here. Jump, you stupid child. I'll do that. I feel like it has something to do with this. This is a pretty useless block. For it not to do anything. is confused. I'm going to get this. I will make it my life's mission. character looks like he would bounce like a basketball. Yes, indeed. It's Pushmo. Everyone's favorite and iconic character. Don't know what this gets me, but I can do it. You, old person, do you have a hint? Because <laughs> I have to move on. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. I already knew that. Look, I already have it pulled out. I think you need to, to push the green block in fully. Pull the top block out. Alright. We shall give it a shot. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> well, now I feel stupid. <laughs> but, we did it. Pants is the genius. You get to be the genius of the day. Congratulations. You are the genius of the day. Rant has figured it out. He is mind blown that he has figured out the puzzle. Here we go. Fun fact about this one. I own the full game. NES Remix and NES Remix 2 the complete pack in the actual physical case but when I bought this game when I was younger I thought it was the sequel to the NES Remix Ultimate and not just a component of it and I bought it thinking that I bought a whole sequel to NES Remix Ultimate but found out later no <laughs> this is I was just being stupid it didn't look at the back of the box so I'm not going to play for today. So how long do you plan on playing today? Um, staying with two hours stream, so nine or ten derpo time. Pikmin HD movies. Sure, why not? We can watch a portion of a Pikmin HD movie. <laughs> Here we go. Back to 2014. What do we got next? Freedom Planet is the next one on the list. An actual game. Oh boy, this looks interesting. Is it just gonna sit on the screen? I think it will. We're just forever stuck on this loading screen that takes forever. I'm pressing buttons. Oh, oh okay, there we go. Oh, it's another 16 bit style. When America starts colonizing other planets, you're totally going to call one Freedom Planet. That sounds about right, yeah. Oh. Look at these things. These things. Okay. Oh, this is a mech. <laughs> yes, they're gonna blow up all the locals. This is about what planets are gonna. If you ever found aliens, you just go in and blow them all up. Do I get to play as the monster? I want to play as the monster that murders everyone. <laughs> That is re really quiet on my end, so I imagine you guys can't even hear it. Dale! Yes, that's what my final us. word I want to be. Dale! I don't care, just start the game. <laughs> I'm not gonna play this long enough to find out. Look at all these files. There's eight files you can have? Right, no, no. That sounds good. Ah, I'll do the classic. That sounds better. Please tell me Dale Gribble is in the game. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's who that is. Okay. I, I don't really like either of their faces. But Carol looks like she just murdered my whole family. Mylat looks like she's studying for a math exam, so I guess I'll go with that instead. Ah, it's a side scroll. Oh, why am I flying? What are these controls? Oh, it's like Sonic! This is... 
It's literally like just like Sonic. <laughs> it's just a, it's a Sonic clone. She chose the furry. Well, they're both animals. It's it's literally just Sonic. But in like a 16-bit style. Cyclone, yeah. Oh, I just died. I got the uh, red trees of glory, or whatever that is. You can't defeat me. You're like three feet away from me. I mean, to be fair, they both seem like furry options. If you like Sonic. And you hate Sonic Boom and the Sonic games that are on the Wii U, you may enjoy Freedom Planet. It's got a decent soundtrack and it's it's pretty much just Sonic. <laughs> With a couple extra moves, like this weird fluttering move. It's like a lizard, like Mark Zuckerberg, the lizard. An inspiration to lizards everywhere. Let me on the. There we go. Oh, I'm invincible! Kinda up walls? Like half up walls. Oh, I even spit into a circle! I mean, come on, how is that not Sonic? I mean, it's just pretty blatant, I think. I hope we get to fight Dr. Wooly at the end of this. Amazing. A lot longer than Sonic. Well, at least for the first game, I guess. I've not played all the Sonic games. I should play Sonic Boom on stream sometime. <laughs> There's something objectively funny about the sentence, a lizard or something. <laughs> well, so Mark Zuckerberg... Wow, so, okay. So my Mark Zuckerberg drug isn't good? Yes, it's exactly. <laughs> I thought it was decent. Any joke about Mark Zuckerberg is warranted. You should say his wax figure. It's more human than him. Oh, I did it. There's no... Oh, no, I didn't. There's more. Oh, crap. <laughs> I even do loops. They're not even ashamed. We should make a Sonic Boom Let's Play. Glenn, it's a genius idea. Everyone loves that game. Yeah. Start a tournament. I'll play it. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to watch people playing Sonic Boom? Who wouldn't want that? I don't know what it wants me to do here. Oh, what is that? I don't... Whoa! What is that? I don't even know how I do it. It just sends me off in a random direction.
for what this game is. It's well done, but it's just Sonic, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. If you want 2D Sonic on your Wii U, I mean, the Wii U doesn't really... It has Sonic and All-Star Racing Transformed, I guess, but besides that, there's not much you can play that's Sonic-related that's good. You can point to this. <laughs> What else we got? Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. I believe this is a remake? Of a Game Boy game? Yeah, well, you're just Sonic. <laughs> Great insult. Way forward. Welcome everyone to team. No! Why are you doing it now? <laughs> Why? How have they recruited you to, to do that? I thought you were on my side. I don't care, let me skip. What, do you just have that? Is that a hotkey? Do you just have that at the ready? <laughs> Gasp. I had that dream again, yawn. It's been the same one every night. Ever since I became human. For you. Hmm, what in the world? Throttle Town is under attack. May not be a genie, but it's still my. Why am I reading this? I don't care. My attack is my hair. I got an auto potion, whatever that is. Pokeball. Why not try to rip off all the French? Why is it shaking? I don't like this. Why is it shaking? It's just nauseating. You may have a gun and a sword, but I have my hair. You're all victims of my hair. Is <laughs> your hair like that? Yeah. Just attack anyone. Oh my goodness. Why did Toad turn human? Huzzah! You don't want purple hair? Oh, that guy's just chucking bombs. And I just ran to the lake. Platforming. This is a pretty good 2D side scroll. There is like a full from the ground up Shantae Half Genie Hero, I believe, that you can buy that is just better than this. But this is a cheap option. This is the cheaper one. Like the other one's like 40 bucks. It's a full game. So. This one, this one's not. This one's like $10. So if you don't want to. Just spend a ton of money. I mean, this is a pretty decent side scroller. Is that a fat gay version toad? <laughs> I 
And I bet you have purple hair and pronouns. <laughs> Well, Manta, do you? Hard to jump around. Yeah, that's a bunch of liberal crap. I don't have pronouns. Just don't refer to me at all. It's the best pronouns. No pronouns. Actually, you need you just use the pronoun. Heck, you use multiple. Yep, there we go. We've caught Manta with his lies. Oh, that was death. All right, that was pretty decent. Not gonna lie. If you're looking for just a nice side scroller to kill some time with, that is pretty decent. I wouldn't say that's the best side scroller on the Wii U. Decent enough. Alright. What do we got? This is just this is this one's free. <laughs> Just make a page on pronouns.page. Make it as ridiculous as possible. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Arrow turn you. <laughs> I feel like playing the Binding of Eyes and Rebirth could probably be just its own stream. <laughs> Do it after your stream. There you go. I will play Binding of Isaac at some point. Yeah, we'll see if it's any good. Isaac. I'll just take Isaac. I'm not picky. Isaac is fine. Okay, so it's a top town game. I got a rotten baby. Cool. There's a lot of baby abuse in the games I've been playing recently. Okay, I see. Use the analog stick. To guide the bullets. Just like my real life. Dodge the bullets. Got some Mortal Kombat blood in there. I feel like this could just be its own stream. <laughs> Playing the Binding of Isaac. Technically any of these games could be, but this is like a full game. And it's just cheap. No, oh, I'm facing whatever that is. I don't know what that is, but I'm facing it. Kills. I 
I feel like I can't do this game justice playing it for a short amount of time, so I think that's going to be about it. <laughs> but I think the Binding of Isaac is pretty self-explanatory if you want to buy it or not. It's available, like, literally everywhere, so I, it doesn't really matter if the, when the Wii U eShop goes down. That's what my old basement looked like. Child of Light, Sports Ball. Let's play one that Manta will enjoy. <laughs> the thing cuts it off. <laughs> Treefall Studios. Now look oh, great. All right, let's do it. Controls, jump. Cool. Now loading. Find the letter. All oh, these controls, they suck. <laughs> oh, I could turn the flashlight up. <laughs> no, no. I'm crying my pants, I'm pissing my eyes out. This, the, if you don't know, the letter is known for being the worst Wii U game ever. And that's why I bought it. I found the letter. Hello, Michael. If you're reading this, then you have discovered one of the pages of my journal. I'm not reading that. That's a to oh, the camera controls just suck. <laughs> I can interact. Find the letter, open the door. Oh. I'm just gonna bring. <laughs> I like Comic Sans, it's my fun font. Why does it take so long to load? Look, 85, okay. Welcome to the valley. Find lost item, weapon, clue, note, plans. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it turned off. I could be completely wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure the reason why this game is bad is because it controls terribly, the graphics are bad, and it never actually scares you. I could be wrong. I don't know a lot about the letter. But I'm pretty sure nothing ever comes and gets you. But this game, it, it's just bad. I still don't trust it. <laughs> I should play Slender Man after this. There is a Wii U Slender Man. I can jump. Let's jump up here. This is not the game for platform jumping, I have to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe, maybe another time. Oh, look, there's a doll. I think it needs help. <laughs> it would be funny. I have no... Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> It's just literally just a field. <laughs> Is this an invisible wall? No, it's not. Okay. I 
feel like I'm just walking out into the abyss. I didn't even use the gamepad at all. It's literally just the mirror image. Oh, I found another bear. I got the ring. Like, they could have put a scare there. Like, you have to turn around to get out of the barn. They could have put something there, but they didn't, because they're lazy. <laughs> I paid five bucks for this. <laughs> you know what I could do for five bucks? I could get like four packs of gum. <laughs> And then I could chuck them off the bridge and still be more fun. Why did you buy this? <laughs> Cause look at it, it's, it's so good. <laughs> I just heard that the game was terrible. And that was intriguing. If you know my Steam collection and the games I played off Steam, you would know that I am a sucker for some really bad games. I would suggest you buy it and play through it. On stream, that would be fun. Or Slenderman, you could buy Slenderman and play that on stream. I don't even know where I'm going. It just it just dropped me in a field and said, figure it out. I got a ring from a teddy bear. This is just stupid, it is. <laughs> this is scary. Yes! Man, I should play FNAF. We're gonna do it someday. It's just like random cinder blocks. Potty here, please. Why am I so short? It's gonna be a hashtag. Okay, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> that was the letter. And if I ever meet you in real life, I'm gonna force you to play a horror game. <laughs> yes. We must make Manta play a horror game. Many a game to try. I believe Child of Light is like a very story driven game. I think we're gonna pass on that because we're not gonna be able to get it takes like thirty minutes to get past the cutscenes. <laughs> I have tried it before. So I think we're gonna we're gonna skip Child of Light, I think. Shut the box. This game is free. I'll have you guys know. You guys can download this game today for free, so let's see if it's any good. We're gonna make you mental. You gotta play a horror game. It's just, it, it's okay, I get it. Yeah, it, it's, it's. It's just shut the box. I, I mean, I don't know really what I was expecting. Yeah. And I don't know how to play Shot the Box, so we're gonna move on. <laughs> but that was free, everyone. <laughs> don't pass up the opportunity. <laughs> what else we got? Sports ball. Sounds incredibly generic. Let's give that a go. Live by the bird, die by the bird. 2DX. Inspired by true events. New match. You jockeys strap in for safety. Do I need a Wii remote? I don't have one near me. True events. True sports events. Oh. 
I'm gonna be red hot. Yes, yes, we're gonna joust this. We're emoing it. True joust. I don't know what's happening, but it looks fun. Seattle Stadium. We're going to Seattle. This looks cool. I haven't even played the game yet, but it looks cool. <laughs> Is it just Joust? Is it just, it's just, it's just Joust, isn't it? it? It's literally just Joust. Oh wait, no it isn't. You gotta guide these things, I get it. Oh no, I wasted too much time. I gotta guide these blocks to the hoop. No, oh, I blow up if I lose. If you got a real mess and wanted to clean like pros, then you should have got this. Hi, Billy Mays here with Zorbies. Most absorbent material you've ever used. Did you just copy and paste an ad? This would be a lot better if I had a second player. Like, I feel like that's what this game is built for. They just took the controls of Joust. Yeah, I got it. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. I got one. So cool. Yeah, I got both of them. Or do you assume that? Because you're not Billy Mays. Last time I checked. I mean, if you were, that would be awesome. <laughs> This would be really cool if I had another player. This would be a really fun multiplayer game. I'll be your two player too. All right. But buy the game and maybe, I don't know if it has an online mode, but try that. <laughs> that would be really fun though. Let's check out the eShop, shall we? See what's happening there. Boom. I missed that one. <laughs> oh, sick. I've got 35 bucks. Let's see what we can buy. What's on sale? Let's check that out first. This is eShot Music's good, but nothing will ever get to the Wii music. That one's the best. I already have RTO, but it's on sale. We didn't get to that one today. Book of Unwritten Tales too. If you want the physical copy, that runs you $400. <laughs> GSI Shot Music, also really good. Yeah, they all are good. Except for the Switch one, really. The Switch one is a big letdown. There's also like nothing on set. I know what we should do. I know what we're getting.
the arrival. Look at this game. Why did I put this on music? <laughs> Not shop, I just did Slenderman. Look at this. Yeah, this looks cool. Look at this guy here. Yeah. Cool. But just to be, I don't think that there is. But I'm gonna check. I don't think that there's any Five Nights at Freddy's game. I'm just gonna check because I'm curious. I need to make sure. I'm pretty sure there isn't. I don't think they ever came. Okay, here we go. Let's get this thing. Wait for it to process. Boom, there we go. Let's, let's see how this download is coming. Not fast. The Wii U is not usually fast with the download speeds. <laughs> but it is a download. <laughs> Slender the arrival. Can you play a game? Wow. It is downloading. I'm curious. Can you play a game? Downloading. Ah, you can. All right. Though we are getting close to that. 10 o'clock. What is the next one? Arrow Time U is the next game that we're going to squeeze into this. If you didn't know, this is a Wii U exclusive, so we're going to see if this game is worth saving. I miss the days where there used to be icons. We used to be able to look at all the Miis running in and they'd be like little game icons based on what was coming out. And you could see people's comments from Miiverse. I miss those days. Why is this taking so long? <laughs> Oh, I got my email from Nintendo. Nintendo's like, who is downloading this game? 
It's 2023. <laughs> oh. Wow. Lots to choose from. I am ready. What am I supposed to do and why is it cutting off? Oh, okay. Green to pass through purple. Interesting. Well, this is pretty simple. I'm pretty sure this was a very cheap game. But... This is fun. What am I doing? This is awful. I need a diagonal? Oh, that did nothing. This is kind of like a Pipes Are Indie game from 2018 called Among Us. There's a game called Among Us? That's interesting. Is that on Wii U? I hope that's on Wii U. <laughs> you might be. This game is pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what it wants from me. Well, I started over, but I don't know what that does for me, considering I don't know what I'm doing. I don't like this. You gotta play bad games and stream more often. I feel like that's way more entertaining than actually watching someone playing a good game. This game just sucks. But it's nice to play some games that suck on Wii U and not Steam, I'm not gonna lie. Playing games that suck on Wii U is a lot more fun. <laughs> you keep going in the bottom right room. Try going in a different direction. What? I can't go any other direction. I go in here, it brings me here. I only have two options. So I came out the one on the left. Now I go in the one on the right. Now I'm in this room again. So I go in. Wait, is it? Okay, I came out there. So I go in the top one. Here. Yeah. I don't know, and I quit. <laughs> All right, we played some good games today. We played some bad games. We did not get through all of them. Glenn, this matters. It does not. I quit. Why did you quit? Because it was too hard. And that is a life lesson for you kids. If there's any kids out there today that are going through school and are having a hard time or any other situation, just give up. Once you give up, all of your problems go away. Just poof, gone. You've backed yourself out of the situation and it's done. You can now live a perfect life because you gave up. <laughs> Take that to heart. And same we've all been thinking. See, I even all even my supporters say that that is true. And now, what I will do next? I am very nice. I'm giving some some wonderful advice to the kitties out there. Some wonderful advice. And now is the part of the stream where we banish Manta out into the depths of Twitch. To find someone to raid. 
So I banish you, Manta, into the depths of Twitch to find a streamer that we can threaten. Because it's the threat of the week. Even though there was no threat last week. <laughs> it's the threat of the week for most weeks. <laughs> and we're running we're running out of quotes, before I lie. We might have to do a threatening one today. We don't have a ton of options. We have, uh... Your blood pressure will soon be higher. We have, you will die by gunfire. We all hate Glenn Quagmire. <laughs> and we'll steal your baby's pacifier. That's what we got, and I'm not sure if we've used the baby pacifier one yet. Those are our threats that we have left for the threat of the week. So it depends, I guess, how threatening we want the threat of the week to be. <laughs> Also, I just realized there's a lot of lag. There's like a good 20 seconds worth of lag. I always find that it starts out and it's like it's like 10, 20 seconds, and as the stream goes on, it gets larger and larger. It's not like it matters. Well, considering not sure how much we want to cross the line of threats. We could do the Glenn Quagmire one. I'm not sure how much sense that makes. <laughs> that sounds like the next best option on the list. Unless if anybody wants to object to that. The blood pressure one is fine to do. Yeah. Alright. We could do that one. bar one please all right here we go everyone copy this threat <laughs> anybody who wants to participate may copy the threat and paste it and my gamepad is dying so this is good <laughs> that we are wrapping up. I have a spare charger. I'm not sure where I put the spare charger. <laughs> Gamepad's just such a sucky lifespan. <laughs> I'm gonna... Nah, it's probably good. I can wait the extra five minutes as Manta finds a qualified streamer that's up to the great standards of the Glen Fire. <laughs> For a streamer. Uh, 
So wait for the slender the arrival. When does this, when did slender the arrival come out? I have to know which folder to put it under. Slender the arrival. 2013. Well, wow. that goes in the old folder. Not sure what I'll do next week between Mother 3 and playing through the rest of the Wii U games I currently have downloaded. Not sure which one is the preferred out of the two. Mother 3 has been fun. And I'm, I'm sure there's many, many more parts to get through Mother 3. I feel like that's a pretty long game. And the rate that I'm going through it. I figured I would break it up into chunks as I go through Mother 3. And with the Wii U eShop closing, I figured I would go through some of the eShop games I've downloaded over the last year and a half. Ah, Slender the Arrival is finally downloaded. Just give me one second, I gotta get my charger. We have saved its life. It's slender the arrival has been added. I found an Australian guy playing Luigi's Mansion with 19 viewers. Sounds good. We shall use him. Alright, this is going to be used. We will not, it's a bit light, we will not do Slender the Arrival today. At some point, we will. Someday. I don't know when. <laughs> Next time we're playing a Wii U game, I guess. But uh, yeah. Thank you for joining me, everyone, on this beautiful night tonight. I had a good time, and I hope you did too. I will see you next Tuesday. Alright, have a good night, everyone.